Constitution is not a self-enforcing document. Although the Constitution is the supreme law of our land and provides limits on the powers and authorities of our federal, state, and local governments, its words cannot and will not leap off the page and enforce themselves. The common folk of America must be the champions of their own liberty. The people of America, if they would choose to enjoy the blessings of liberty, must first choose to study, to understand, and then to apply the principles of the American view of law and government. It has always been so that the greatest threat to the people's liberties is the centralized power of civil government. And it is strikingly apparent now that the agenda coming from Washington, D.C. represents an attempt to centralize and extend the control of the few over the many. In an amazingly short period of time, the central government has nationalized the banks, the insurance industry, the automobile industry, and the healthcare industry. And this is illegal. And all the while this has been occurring at unprecedented speed, the president has been insisting that he is not doing exactly what he is doing. And if our state and local officials properly understood their oaths of office, perhaps they would and could interpose between us, their constituents, and the central authorities who are attacking America's foundations. But seemingly, most do not intend to perform their duty and defend the people from the law-breaking of the central planners. Unless the people and their state and local officials, like the governor, like local police and judges and the county council, renounce the criminal behavior displayed by the federal executive through federal agencies and redeclare their allegiance to their loved ones and their families and their communities, these United States of America are in grave danger of disappearing. The Constitution is not a self-enforcing document. For America to survive the Constitution, the rule of law must be understood and applied by the people and their local leaders against the apparent criminal interests of federal government leaders. This is Michael Anthony Peruca for Institute on the Constitution, bringing you the American view.